It's a crack again there, YouTube. Your good friend Dasmer coming at you. We NCAA 12 gameplay. And this is from what was our three way rivalry. It was a three way rivalry series. Unfortunately, Sunday, this past Sunday, we had a rage quit situation. Coach Jimmy B versus Coach BA was getting ugly, and then it got real ugly, and then Coach Jimmy B just rage quit out. Uh, understandable. Yeah, yeah. Is. You know, is NCAA 12 the end-all, be-all, best football game ever made? Yeah, God, God, no. It's not too bad, but, you know, whatever. It is what it is. So now it's just down to your good friend Dasmerg and the Bay of the Bears and Coach B.A. and his UCLA Bruins. So this is from year one, and this is the first real uh, test game that I had. This is uh, me at Texas A&M. They are a rival as well. So, no joke of a game for me, and was the first real test, because I had a couple of pretty cream puffy games before this, but this is like week five or week six or something like that. It was really my first test as a team, and I'd gone on a little bit of a winning streak, and was pretty much, my attitude was, uh, I was a bit sh surprised at how well my team was playing, considering, you know, I've got some good keys, you know, I've got some good things on offense, but, you know, my defense was pretty mishy-mashy. So, I just said, you know what, screw it, let's just, you know, play balls out, let's, you know, Go for it, and let's uh, you know see how many wins we can string together. So I end up uh, top three. Yeah, it was the third best team in the Big 12. I really should have ended up playing for the Big 12 championship, but uh, for some reason there is no Big 12 championship in this. As far as I'm aware, there is one. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you people out there can tell me. Am I wrong on this? Anyway, so uh, I end up playing, though, in the Cotton Bowl, and I end up winning the Cotton Bowl, and I finished uh, ranked 7th in the nation, so not too bad. I was pretty happy with that, and it definitely helped uh, my team, definitely gave it a boost, gave me the, you know, because remember, I did create me as a coach, and uh, all of us created ourselves as coaches to make it really challenging, so it gave me a good boost. Uh, coach BA, who's the only other coach left, and his UCLA at Bruins, he ended up winning the Pac-12. Take that as you may, you know, Coach B.A., you know, you're listening, but uh, you got a pretty cream puffy schedule out there playing the Pac-12, buddy. But he does, you know, got to give credit, he does have the behemoth that is uh, UC USC to deal with in not only playing every year, but also recruiting against. And uh, you know what? That ain't right because that team's under mega sanction right now. So uh, Coach B.A. Got, ended up playing in the, uh, well, played the Pac-12 championship, ended up playing in the Rose Bowl. And <laughs> poor guy, man. Uh, ended up uh, playing the game, winning the game, got the transfer file error, and uh, even though it showed up as a win in our, you know, in the franchise status screen, we advanced the week. Yeah, it wasn't a win. It got simmed, and he ended up getting the loss. Tee. But we ended up uh, both having not bad recruiting classes. Of course, a recruiting guru, their coach BA, he ended up with the 23rd overall recruiting class. I ended up 43. But uh, we're both in a pretty good position coming into this season. We both got some pretty stacked teams. And uh, it's actually going to be really interesting. We've already played our game. Uh, we did that on Sunday. Sadly, that was at his place, and I'm not going to bring all my gear down there. Sorry, guys. I don't want to take back in the Spaghetti Monster behind, that is behind my TV. So, um, yeah, so that's the only loss I've got on my record right now. And, uh, yeah, just waiting to, you know, really looking forward to Season 2 there. This is, uh, both of us are really going to be able to make some noise, so... It could be interesting. Maybe we will end up in the Alamo. Because last year we were slated to play in the Alamo Bowl there. Uh, what We got the first uh, bowl projections. And, you know, hey, if we can end up playing in the Alamo Bowl, I think that'd be pretty sweet. Playing a bowl game against each other? Woohoo! So that's what's going on there. Um, and both of us really uh, were talking about it. And we both really have to take advantage because I've got a giant class of seniors leaving. And all my big impact players are all seniors, man. So... You know, I've got a stacked offense for this season. And then next year, there's going to be a big drop-off. And Texas A&M, by the way, made a big error leading up to that touchdown. They ended up going for it on fourth down. And, like, on my, uh, sorry, on their 45, uh, I was going to show that. But, yeah, the exciting stuff happens in the scoring plays. And also, you want to keep the video short, too. So, a quick little synopsis. That's what's going on right now. So, we're just down to two coaches. Uh, and we're into year two. But I'm going to get uh, Coach B.A. on here for a little bit of talk about his thoughts on, you know, how the dynasty's going. What does he think about, uh, 
you know, NCAA 12 so far, because he's also another veteran player. I've been playing it from the beginning, baby. And also, don't forget, I'm going to have episode two of uh, Dynasty Building Tips. I'm going to be working on that, and I'm going to get our guru, I'm telling you, man, with the UCLA program, two stars, he was able to come in with the 23rd overall recruiting class. Guy, no, guy's got our system. Seems to be pretty working. And, uh, yeah, that's what's on the schedule. Uh, well, no, I probably, well, not probably, I most likely will not be grabbing Madden, so don't look for Madden gameplay from your good friend Dasmerg. I'm just having too much fun playing NCAA 12, and there's too much other stuff coming out this fall. It's, uh, you know, I'm just not going to end up playing it. So that's your good friend Dasmerg. A couple more videos, at least two, should be coming out this week. Thanks for watching.